Hello, people. Nico here. I will continue this guide as we are approaching the holiday season, and it seems to be that there are a lot of desperate brats out there. So, yeah, you know, if you like that kind of shit, go get them. If you want to capitalize on this, perhaps, you know, this is a good time to do it. If not, the guide will still be applicable either way. Today we will be talking about the boundaries that you set around you in order to allow for your existence to continue without much alteration if you are to engage with females in the first place. I have created two previous videos on this and I called them The Frame and Don't Share Your Emotions. These two videos primarily speak to the boundaries that you are to set surrounding you during a relationship or during an engagement with any female. In actual fact, everything that has to do with any engagement with any woman should have boundaries that one is not allowed to cross. Those boundaries are something that you need to pay distinct attention to. Therefore, the first step would be to understand your boundaries beforehand and where that woman's involvement in your life stops and how to punish said behavior if she is to misbehave. Yeah, this is almost like training Pavlov's dogs here. And that's exactly what we will talk about. This is the juice ain't worth the squeeze part of the argument, and it is a lot of work, much of which would be initially conscious fucking effort, but if you know your boundaries, it does become easier. There is a reason I talk about this issue, as this issue is primarily something that most people are fed up of dealing with. This video will end up sounding patriarchal and misogynistic or whatever, because it is by its nature so. This is not something that will sound as too much fun and many people will see this as training your partner. And in reality, women do the same thing with negative and positive reinforcement by limiting and then giving sex at times for bad and good behavior, respectively. Therefore, a man, if he is to engage with women, he is to of course break away from that cycle and regain control of their relationship. I have talked about shit tests before and that speaks directly as to how to pass a woman's attempt in order to control the interaction in the relationship. This is the equivalent version of male shit tests, or maintaining the frame. The most fundamental aspect of this is knowing what you're willing to put up with. Where do your lines begin and where do they end, and how much you're going to allow that woman to misbehave, and what you are personally consider as something crossing the line. Personally, I mean, I'm much more liberal, as my character would suggest, and I do not personally give a shit what a woman does in her life. I don't believe on holding full control over the relationship. I believe that people can make their own decisions and each to their own. What this means is, in essence, that I simply list my lines and I enforce them when they're crossed, while simultaneously I'm caring and kind when I enjoy the company of that woman along with her actions. What is there, of course, to stop that woman from cheating or misbehaving or walking away? Nothing, really. The control is imposed on that woman on her own, and she maintains that control because I'm willing to walk away. This is the behavior that most people do not understand. A woman cannot walk away from a man she considers to be a higher status or a man who is not hypnotized by her looks. This is the double-edged sword of hypergamy, and it is a sword that will be wielded against the user because of this. This is how I consider things, and call me whatever names you want. I have certain lines that will lead me to completely walk away from a woman and lines that if crossed I will simply punish a woman for her behavior. The punishment is relatively simple, it will either be spanking, a missed date, walking out, ignoring her, sending her back to her apartment to sleep there until she apologizes, etc. If one of those hard lines are crossed, then I simply walk out and I mean I walk out completely from the relationship and disappear completely. The hard lines seem to never be crossed until those soft lines are crossed first. And it is important that we understand that there is this distinct difference that women will only cross lines if they think they can get away with it. Nothing stops them from crossing the lines either way, but in my experience the hard lines are never crossed if you maintain your frame. That is, she will never cheat, bang in your bedroom with your best mate, talk shit about you in front of your mates or her girlfriends, or listen to anyone speaking about you with disrespect and still keep them in her life, as she will defend you and she will listen to you. You become her man in her head and you are taking over roles and respect that, for example, a father would have had. And that is honestly how I see it at least. This makes me feel patronizing as fuck the majority of the times and very father-like, but it seems to be the only behavior that gets the message across. And it can be a bit of fun, 
if you don't take yourself too seriously. I don't know which scenario would work best for you, and it of course depends on your character, but for me, the time spent with a woman, I don't consider it as our time or her time. I would do things with her that I would normally do whether she was there or whether she wasn't there. If it's a movie night, I'm watching a movie. If I was gonna head out in order to see my mates and she wants to tag along, then she can do that. At the end of the day, all women are hypergamous, and at the end of the day, all women will behave in ways that will make a man get angry. The trick is to keep one around that doesn't drive you insane, and also, in the meantime, do not expect that woman to behave in any other way that another woman would. If you hate female nature or you cannot accept the fact that women would behave in certain ways, you should not keep women around you for long enough to discover how much you hate their behavior. The truth of the matter is, since I became a MGTOW and ever since my honesty reached sky-high levels, my interactions have been so much smoother with women. Their behavior is seen through my lens and it never involves any anger. There is not much I do not expect and of course the walking out on my part has been always uneventful. The truth is that a woman knows when you're likely to walk out and if she has crossed your lines, she expects you to do so and wants you to do so. If you don't, she resents you either way, so you better walk out be before she starts to detest you. What Mikta should teach men is how to live alone and how it feels to exist alone and how to fend for himself. When that occurs and you digest that pill, you learn to like yourself for how you are and how to exist on your own and everything becomes that much smoother and you do that. Therefore the fear of spending your life alone is extinguished and eradicated. If anything, your life will not be much different and that woman knows that she will be replaced with someone new. That along with your honesty, your insight towards their nature and the constant reinforcement of your behavior that remains unchanged forces her to either get in line or go somewhere else. The fact of the matter is, despite me talking about lines and boundaries here, nothing prevents that woman from setting her own boundaries. And if she doesn't like the way that you are, she can equally walk out herself. And women do that. I mean, I saw a girl recently who swore that she needed marriage in her life. I, mean, I personally killed that dream very early on, prior to even meeting up with her. She wanted a serious relationship and I again killed that very early on because she wasn't the type of woman I would date long term. Therefore she met up with me, we did the nasty and then she went her own way. The trick is to make sure that both the parties involved are happy. At present time I'm seeing I guess a girl who's like 7 years younger than myself and the lines have been explained to her and I'm simply doing my own thing. As long as she behaves it can potentially get slightly more serious but the lines as the girl before have also been explained to her. Those boundaries are not something you need to actively fight over tooth and nail in order to maintain. It doesn't take that much effort. The reason it doesn't take so much effort is because all you have to do is remember them and walk out when they're crossed. Let yourself be what he needs to be and let your walking out be swift and easy. You were single before and you will probably be single after each one of them either way. But remember this, women will always be women and you can never be helped as it is in their nature to be so. And I have no beef with that nature and I cannot change the unchangeable. The next video will be a scientific video on the nature of monogamy and I would invite you guys to watch that video in order to understand better our male and female interactions on the matter. Take care guys and thank you for listening.